It is truly a beautiful day. The birds are chirping, bees are rustling through the grass, but for how long? How long as I look at these military weaponry LED lamps with the antennas on top that will be turned on at any point in time? The birds aren't going to be here anymore. The bees aren't going to be here anymore. And who knows what's going to happen to our children, to our loved ones. If you have a platform and you choose not to speak up about this, you are as evil as the rest of them and you don't have any right to be on this planet. A disease or illness does not suddenly change symptoms. However, this current Toyota Corolla coronavirus illness going around seems to have new symptoms ever evolving brought to you by the modern media aka fake news every single week they are changing the story uh i think it's too soon to tell right now because we have i mean look at this this started like march 18th look how much has changed every every week we get new guidelines yeah it's because you're a bunch of lying crooks I'm sure someone can do a compilation of this. Initially, it was only old people. Then it suddenly started affecting spring breakers. Then it was causing strokes in 30 and 40 year olds specifically. Now it's children. All I see is nonsense being made up every single week. Coronavirus related inflammatory syndrome emerges among UK children. Some of the children have tested positive for COVID-19 and others appear to have had the virus in the past, though some have not. They say these children are suffering certain symptoms, stomach pain, gastrointestinal symptoms, cardiac inflammation, but that not all children have tested positive for the coronavirus. They are literally telling you these children are getting sick and it's not the virus. And stomach aches are one of the most common symptoms from high EMF exposure. These children are getting very sick from the new Wi-Fi infrastructure. The cell towers, the LED street lamps, the in-home Wi-Fi weaponry devices, and the modern media needs to come up with things on a daily basis as symptoms from radiation poisoning vary depending on the distance, the type of device, how long you've been exposed to it, what your current metabolic state is, how much calcium is in your body, many lifestyle factors to consider here. That's why they are so all over the place with their reporting. The alert added that there is a growing concern that a COVID-19 related inflammatory syndrome is emerging in children in the UK or that there may be another as yet unidentified infectious pathogen associated with these cases. However, Witty said it was plausible that there was a link between the condition and the coronavirus. The alert said the condition had features of toxic shock syndrome and atypical Kawasaki disease with blood parameters consistent with severe COVID-19 in children, according to the report. They added that abdominal pain and gastrointestinal symptoms and cardiac inflammation were common. These are textbook symptoms from EMF, electromagnetic fields. We spoke about the mechanism of this last week. These fields act through voltage-gated calcium channels, which increases nitric oxide in the body, resulting in massive amounts of oxidative stress. That would explain why the symptom in these children is being referred to as a hyperinflammatory state. Massive amounts of oxidative stress being caused by the new Wi-Fi infrastructure that they conveniently set up while we are locked inside our homes. How can you not see this? They are blanketing every single illness from this radiation as coronavirus, and no one is stopping them. Oh, your kid got fried by a cell tower? Uh, sounds like coronavirus. You got hit by a car? Uh, coronavirus. Stage four lung cancer? Sounds a lot like coronavirus to me. Doctors in the UK are warning COVID-19 could be linked to a rare but serious illness in children. For more on this, let's bring in Dr. Diane Hess, She's a pediatrician right here in New York City, and she joins us now to talk about this. Uh, so doctor, what kind of symptoms uh, are these children showing? So I actually hadn't read this literature. It's not published yet in peer-reviewed journals. So I just read the article that you sent to me this morning. Um, what, I, what, I was, what I could glean from that is that it's called, it's an illness called Kawasaki's disease, which is usually seen in children post-inflammatory. So it's like a child has um, some kind of flu or a viral infection and then maybe weeks to months later they have this uh, reactive 
um, disease called Kawasaki's disease, which attacks the blood vessels of the of the heart. Um, it's it's not fatal. It's very treatable. Um, and from what I took from this article, not all of the children tested positive for COVID that had the Kawasaki disease. So I'm not surprised because children who can get a common cold, which is often caused by coronavirus, the non-COVID-19, um, can get Kawasaki's disease. You can get it after flu. You can get it after multiple viral infections. Um, it's not fatal, and I'm not surprised. I think that um, what we're learning more and more is that COVID-19 can cause just about any symptom and attack any part of the body, but particularly the vasculature. It causes a lot of inflammation. What we're learning is that COVID-19 can attack every part of the body. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know who's buying this absolute dog shit. They are frying these kids like goddamn chickens, and the public is too brainwashed to realize what's going on. For every single symptom you're discussing here in this dog shit news station, you can find a direct correlation to EMF exposure. Fever. Here's a study showing elevated body temperature as a result of exposure. Cough. Another study showing dry cough from magnetic field exposure. Chills. EMF exposure results in systemic inflammation and infection. Chills are a common side effect. Muscle pain. Studies showing that muscle pain is a common side effect among mobile phone users. Headache. One of the most common symptoms are migraines and headaches. Shortness of breath. Japanese studies showing breathing difficulties in sensitive people. New loss of taste and smell. Patients lost their sense of taste and smell following radiation therapy. A scary aspect of this is that these are just the initial direct symptoms of exposure to new levels of these devices. This is why they keep saying there's going to be a second wave because even in the most resilient people over the course of several months, everyone will start to suffer and when that happens, they will happily announce newly discovered symptoms of this mysterious virus that is manifesting itself in different ways every single week. <laughs> you want to know why? Because these motherfuckers literally worship demonic figures. Verizon, who is responsible for a large amount of this new infrastructure, has a yearly conference called Malakon. Moloch is the biblical name of a Canaanite god associated with child sacrifice through fire or war. This is a war, all right. It's a war by the elites on the people of the world using electromagnetic frequencies as weaponry. Whether these crazy fucks actually believe that they're offering children to their gods by frying them with radio waves is up for your own interpretation, but that doesn't really fly in my book. I'm worried about their education. I'm worried about kids who have to go to high school who've missed the last semester of eighth grade. I'm worried about kids who have to go to college who've missed the last semester of high school if they're school is not up to par. Not every school is created equal. Let me get this straight. You're worried about the kids going back to school to get their education? I find that funny considering you installed military weaponry in every school while we're all locked inside our homes. The most important thing people can do right now is turn off their TV, stop watching the fake news, and refuse to send their children back to these schools where they will get very sick. Even better, start taking this shit down, petition your town that it's not safe. Because remember, we're also going to have the flu in the fall. So you're going to have another COVID spike and you're going to have the flu. The fact that these motherfuckers are so confident in saying there's going to be another COVID spike is that they know something you don't know. They control the media. They have planned everything. I don't know what to do anymore. At, at this point, you almost want to believe the sheep will deserve what's happening for being so stupid and brainwashed. You know, one thing you might have noticed is that this doctor has AirPods in her ears, and there was another news broadcast in the UK where a doctor had AirPods in his ears. I wouldn't be surprised if they were intentionally wearing these to make it appear as if it was normal to wear devices that are equivalent to putting your head in a microwave. There, there's no way these doctors don't understand the dangers of these devices, and, and who knows if they're just putting on a show. So thank you guys for joining me today. Please share this, please spread this message. Uh, this is by far the most important, the most significant, and uh, I guess you would say the most unfortunate topic that I have had to speak about and push on my channel. And as much as I would like to talk about nutrition and would like to talk about fitness and all of that other stuff, <laughs> it, it's not going to matter 
three, four, five, six months from now when they turn this on and it's havoc all over again. If these devices aren't taken down in a few months, you guys better plan to build a hut in the woods or you're gonna be screwed. Uh, so, um, you know, if you guys could please share the video, of course, drop a like down below, leave me a comment, uh, subscribe so you can be unsubscribed next week. Uh, if you guys do wanna support me further, there is a bunch of stuff down in the description below. Uh, that being said, um, they're already harming the children. That's, they've already done it. It's already happening. It's going to continue to happen. And, uh, and uh, you know, I've said it several times, it's sad that people don't seem to care. If you guys want to sign up for the newsletter at frank uh, I have been sending out a flyer. Uh, that flyer is something you can hand out around your town that kind of summarizes this whole video and something you can put up. So uh, let's, let's spread this. Let's make people aware. And uh, let's try to make a world where uh, we can all be happy and healthy. If people want it.